Okay, hi, editing Katie here. I didn't want to like start the video and like have it go on as normal without putting a clip in here first. Um, because I'm sure you can like see from the title of the video, whatever. Um, I wanted to say like first off, I'm not doing this for views. I like didn't really film a lot of stuff like in the moment um, because I was just like very engrossed in the situation. Um, I will put like my Instagram stories and like that sort of stuff at the end of the video when I talk more about it, but I didn't want to like just start the video normal as if it was like nothing happened. So I'm not doing this for views. I know people are gonna be like, why? You don't have to say that, but I want to say that. Um, I wanted to like share this experience because it really can happen like to anyone anywhere. Like I was in a really nice area and I'm at the stores all the time. It's more just to like serve as a warning, like to be aware of your surroundings and to not be afraid to speak up because I know like I've seen lots of videos where people like clam up and they're like, I don't know why I didn't say something. And I've watched so many of those. And so I'm proud of myself that in like a fight or flight situation, I chose to like confront them because I think that that changed the entire situation. And then I also spoke to an employee about it, which like started this whole ripple effect that you'll see at the end of the video. Um, I am obviously super bummed that this happened for like so many reasons, but I hate that this whole situation is clouding like the video because I was really excited to share the info with you that I was making the video about today um, but I just wanted to say that first um, but you can kind of watch it all unfold in the video it was just like a scary shitty situation and I just wanted to put it out there so that you guys can hopefully I hope it never happens to you guys but just so you guys you know have maybe a better or I don't even know I can't even talk maybe so you guys can think of a plan or think of what you might do if you were in this situation because honestly you never know if it could happen to you I'm just a super paranoid person in general very hyper aware of my surroundings at all times and it worked out for me in the situation so I kind of just wanted to put this out there to hopefully help anyone who unfortunately might find themselves into this situation someday because women who shop alone at these types of stores are targets for this stuff all the time i'm sure you guys have all seen stuff about it on the internet so i just wanted to go ahead and share my experience but let's go ahead and get into the video oh, please ignore my forehead i attacked it with my fingernails because i thought i had a pimple don't do that hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel so excited about today's video if you are new here hello my name is Katie I do a lot of like home decor videos anything to do with home goods target shopping hauls shop with me grocery shop with me sometimes I do cleaning motivation so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below it is Tuesday so you know what that means it is Target Tuesday the best day of the week in my opinion I love shopping at Target that's why I made it my job Follow your dreams kids. I'm really excited about today's video. I am hearing through the grapevine on Instagram that there is a weird glitch with the new Target home decor. On Instagram, I'm seeing that people are finding things are ringing up different than the price on the bottom of the item or whatever the sticker says. They're ringing up $10 less, $15 more. So I'm really intrigued to see. And then there's also like this really crazy little like end table that's ringing up for a crazy price. I wanted to come and debunk it with you guys, but I'm really excited. I'm also looking to check out the dollar spot, hoping to find more of the dollar spot items that I didn't find in last week's video and more Valentine's Day decor items. Every target is so different and puts out everything at such different times. So you just have to keep checking your target. Also, I wanted to wear these since we were looking for Valentine's Day decor. They are by Bobble Bar, um, which is sold at Target. I can try to link them down below for you guys but let's head into target i want to debunk this whole crazy rumor i don't understand how like a store like target could have like such a big glitch like that because they're like marking down items like 15 20 10 dollars less or more it's just super random i don't know i've seen it all over the map on instagram i'll go ahead and link the instagram accounts that i follow specifically for target and to find good deals i did link them in my last video but i'll link even more that i use because i follow a lot of different target accounts but let's head inside and start shopping for this target tuesday okay so made it over now to the like studio mcgee hearth and hand new spring stuff this is what i need to talk to you about so there's some glitch going on where the price that it's marked is not the price that it's ringing up. Sometimes it's higher, I guess. Sometimes it's lower. This is what I'm seeing on Instagram. We're gonna debunk it all, put it to the test, but I, I it's confusing to think that something like this could happen at like such a big store. Um, but um, we're gonna figure it out together if it's real or if it's at my target or just some targets, but 
I'm really excited to scan some of this stuff. It's just like, I have like a weird feeling about it. Like, but if it's ringing up that price, like what are you supposed to do? Like, you're not gonna be like, oh, can you charge me more for this? So I don't know, let's go ahead and debunk it. But it just sounds really crazy. So apparently this stuff is scanning up a different price than it says. And even like two of the same thing could be different. So we're gonna take a couple. This as well, this is another one that's scanning up apparently at a different price. Oh, we're investigating all of this. I'm gonna put as much of it as I can in my cart that's supposed to be a different price and we're gonna head over to the scanner and see if this is true. So this is basically like the newer version of the chair that I got for $40. I absolutely love this one. I love the detail on the arm of the chair. I think this one's $230 as well. Mine was 40, so I love the deal I got mine for, but I love this one. Here is another item that is ringing up a way different price, and I've seen a lot of people talking about this one, so we're gonna test this one as well. We're just putting it all in the cart. We're gonna make some trips over to the price scanner. I guess this is two, I don't know. We're just gonna go, we're gonna debunk this together live on YouTube, well, Live for me. Okay, we're gonna start with this wreath. So it's supposed to be $35, okay? You can see it says $35 on the tag. $20. It's only ringing up for $20. Oh my God, it's freaking true. It's true. Okay, let's try another one. This is supposed to be $20. Let's see. See, okay, <laughs> but this one's ringing up more. This one's ringing up as $35, but it says 20 on the bottom. Okay, I got two of these because someone said that like two different ones had two different prices at their store. So we're gonna try a different one of like the same base. That one's also ringing up as $35. There is a bigger size actually. I'm gonna grab this one. And let's see, maybe this one is supposed to be, oh, this one's supposed to be 30. Let's see if maybe this one's ringing up right. This one's ringing up as 25. What is going on? Also, did some little kid write on this with like crayon? I truly don't understand like how this could be happening. Okay, we have more stuff to try. And this is just the start of it, guys. Like this is crazy. Okay, so this, Big glass jar is supposed to be $20. Ringing up as 35. Like what is happening? I don't I don't get it. How is this happening? <laughs> okay, here's another one. So this is like the spring version of their really popular winter hanging basket. It is supposed to be $35. Let's see. Ringing up as 25. You could save $10 on it. I, I really like this, so I'm probably gonna get one, but I'm just super confused. I love all this stuff. It's just more like spring stuff over at the front of the store, but it's all so pretty, like so many plants. They have this like cookie stand, but it's like marble on the top, baskets, really pretty candle holders, so much nice stuff. The new box for this year, this is like a marble box, some like, different wall decor, some pillows, so much really pretty stuff. I need to scan more of this stuff to see if it is marked correctly, but I am just in shock and awe. Okay, so I always try to like check all the boxes and stuff, and they have this short bookcase natural brown. So I was like, okay, what does that look like? And so I always like look it up, and it's part of like this line. I love like the nightstand of this line too. I'm gonna drag this over to the price checker and see if maybe it was a return, maybe if it's on sale because it's 200. I definitely don't wanna pay that, but I love it. This is the 2021 Studio McGee Knot. <laughs> Does anybody else think that it kind of looks like dog poop? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's not flying off the shelves as you can see. I absolutely love this smoked vase. I think it's so pretty, would be so pretty for flowers. Like, just imagine some flowers in here, it's so pretty. I might use my Christmas gift cards to get this because I love it so much. I also love this dough bowl. It's ringing up at the correct price at $25. I just love the color of it. I love that it's like not too warm, not too new, not too like cool toned. It's right in the middle of super neutral. 
and they do have like a bunch of like vase filler right now for ten dollars so i could get one of these you could always switch them out like in the summer lemons and limes or do like these really neutral flowers or those like wooden balls that match that really well so there's definitely like a lot of different options that you could do with that they just have like so many pretty glass vases right now and so many fun little options they have a lot of these little plants for five dollars as well better than stuff in the dollar spot in my opinion and the same price i think the dollar spot ones are either five or three but just more options than the dollar spot and more like neutral vases so so much cute spring stuff i want it all okay so i think this is another one that might be mispriced it's really pretty it actually looks like decently real let's check it out so it says it's going to be 25 and it's ringing up at $20. It's ridiculously crazy. A few more $10 vase filler options. I love this like succulent one. This is really, really cool and would be really cute in that dough bowl. That's absolutely adorable. And also more $5 plants and I love this one. I was informed that yellow is the Pantone color of the year, which makes me super happy seeing all of this really pretty, like springy yellow stuff. It's just all so nice, like you just can't go wrong with the purple. I don't even normally like purple. This white one, this little white and yellow one. So many fun, cute options. They have not one of my dream console table, but two. Oh, this Target is so good. They're fully stocked. They have so much cute spring stuff. I just, the baskets, like, I don't even know what I could need that many baskets for. I already have too many, but I want them. I just love these so much. So, so, so much. I'm seriously just dying to be in our new apartment because I just want all this stuff and I want to put it in our new apartment. Mm. They have a lot of really pretty, like, stems and stuff, too, for all of these vases. I really, really like this one. It's like a droopy type plant. <laughs> Great, great description, Katie. And all of these are only $5. They have a lot of really fun options and like endless ways to decorate all of these new vases that they have this year. They have these new little $10 lamps as well. They're mini, like compared to my hand. They're really small. I'm obsessed with this wood one. Also love like the black one. I like them all. They also have different like lampshade styles. So this one is more of like a linen look, which looks a lot like our new bed while there's other ones that are like crisp white. So different options. I honestly love them all. I don't think you could go wrong with any of them. And for 10 bucks, perfect for a little accent light. So this might sound weird, but I'm looking for a basket for my Target syrups. And I actually think that this could work perfect. And pillow fort stuff is 40% off in the Target Circle app right now. So this section's honestly kind of ransacked, but this, this might work perfect for my Starbucks syrups. Like, it just seems like the perfect size. Maybe I'll try to find something that's similar in size and just see, but that's really cool. Okay, this is gonna seem funny, but I thought maybe it's like the size of like a toilet brush, um, but it won't work because it's not wide enough on the bottom. And I do feel like it's honestly really similar in size to this. So, this isn't gonna work. This is gonna go back, but almost all these really 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 cute valentine's pillows i've seen everybody posting about these this one is so cute i'm like more tempted to go towards the neutral stuff even though i do love pink and i love valentine's day these are also cute and they are all 20 dollars and they are i think opal house and threshold so we have like a bit of a mix going on here they have like beaded ones embroidered ones fluffy ones so definitely tons of different options Okay, found some more Valentine stuff that's new to me. So these are really, really cute. I love the neutral colored one. I feel like honestly you could use that year round, but they also have a red version. This is Opal House. I think it is $12. Yeah, it's $12 for these little wreaths. These are really freaking cute too. They're like fake dried flower ones. These ones are also $12. They come in like a more neutral one and then a pink one. And they have a couple of different like candle options then some garlands so they have like a pink one they have a red pink and white one some vase filler more pillows and then the spritz blanket throws these are ten dollars each they have a heart one an xoxo one and like a pink and red white plaid one 
so much cute Valentine's Day stuff. Some more cute Opal House Valentine's stuff. Some of this stuff I have seen and showed in my last video. Some of this stuff is new to me. This placemat is really, really cute. I showed this in my last video, but these towels and stuff are really nice. What does this one say? The kitchen is the heart of the home. Cute, that's threshold. So a lot of new Valentine's Day stuff, new to me at least. They do have a bunch of the infamous like waffle heart makers. I've seen a lot of these. I got a regular one, same brand for Christmas um, for Brian or Santa did. So not gonna pick that up, but it does work really well. So I would get one if you are interested. Just found these, which I was looking at online. So I'm super excited about cheese knife set. Perfect for a charcuterie board and it goes with our other gold stuff so i'm definitely going to pick these up they are ten dollars okay interesting found some clearance that i didn't even know was clearance they have some of this i'm guessing it's older they're probably making room for like the new spring stuff but they have some opal house and project 62 table runners and they also have like a couple different options i really really like this lemon one i also really like the floral one and the neutral one's really cute too they have like matching placemats to go with it. All of the stuff in this aisle is clearance that I was not expecting to find. I'd have to see if I want to pick any of this up. They have, I really, really like this one. This is super pretty, super springy. I love the yellow. But then like pale yellow is like one of my most favorite colors. So I don't know. It says it was $22.99 and is now $11.49. On here it still says $16.09. So we're gonna have to go and scan it and see what it says. Same with these. These are saying different prices on them than the little like thing says. So we're gonna have to go and scan them. Okay, so this says was 22, now 1609. Let's give it a scan, 1149. But what I'm confused about is that this says that this size should be 899. So I actually think it might be 899, but I'm also gonna scan this one because this is the pattern that it's saying. Yep, $8.99, and on here it says $12.59. Such a steal, I love it. I'm definitely getting one. I'm gonna go put this one back, because I want one of each, and I love them. Okay, so some new Valentine's Day stuff. Haven't seen this before. It says the secret ingredient is love, and you do get a little pot holder with it. It's heart-shaped. I did show you this rose one in my last video. These are new to me as well. Sweet Like Sugar, Premium, Love You, a Latte Coffee, and then Made With Love. These would be really cute if you wanted to like make cookies for your friends and family, or you could fill them with candy and like little notes. They do have these little note cards, and they have a couple different varieties. You get a bunch of little note cards for only three bucks, which is a really, really good deal. They do have a couple of these dessert stands. I already put one in my cart. I did go ahead and put a white one, because I didn't think I was gonna see it again, but I'm probably not gonna get it. I will leave it for somebody else who would have a better use for it than me. A lot of this stuff I have already shown you. This looks new to me though. It says the secret ingredient is love, another adult apron, and then I think this is like a more neutral one. That one is really, really cute for only $5. What is this? Oh, just like a little reusable bag that's cute. Just like a ton of different stuff. All those adult aprons are only five bucks. These are banners I have already shown you. I guess these are the only two they have for Valentine's Day. They're $3 each, just like a floral one that says love, and then this one that says be mine. They have tons of new like greens and stuff. So these rocks and stuff I actually showed you in one of my last videos, and someone told me to check Dollar Tree. That Dollar Tree has a lot of really good stuff like this this year, but they have a bunch of new like greens, little wreaths, everything is $5 or less. These little sprigs are really, really cute for $2 and would look perfect in like any of the vases. Um, all, also, <laughs> uh, I had a like super scary thing happen to me in the store that I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video and one of the employees walked up and handed me the most coveted item in the Target dollar spot that she had in the back for herself which was just so sweet. These little, little plants are really, really cute and I wanna get one of them to go on my new tiny tiered tray. <laughs> I can't believe she gave me that. 
These little bags are new to me and they are cute. They're kind of too small to be like a reusable bag, but they are $3. And then these really cute little boxes, just really cute little candles. It's definitely fully stocked and I'm just loving all of it. Found these two as well. These are really cute, $3 and $5. Gonna leave them there. For somebody else to find them the other two i just saw they're already gone so hope whoever gets these loves them interesting because here like i've seen on some instagram accounts it's actually listed as 24 dollars. they don't have it i love this one i really wish they or hope that they're gonna make a coffee table like this because i really want a concrete coffee table they're just super crazy price so i'm really crossing my fingers that for her new line that's debuting on the 17th this is um studio mcgee that there'll also be a coffee table. Even if it's meant for the outdoors, you can use it wherever you want, but I'm gonna try to ask an employee to see if they have the one that I'm looking for. I just asked an employee, and he's looking in the back. He says if they have it, it would probably be on the floor, but he's gonna go double check because sometimes they keep stuff in the back. I would love to get my hands on one, but if I don't, it's not that big of a deal. I, don't, I mostly just wanted to show it to you guys. I'll put the picture here just so you guys like know what I'm talking about, but it's supposed to be 79 and it's ringing up at 24, which is, crazy i have no idea what's going on with target it's mind-boggling but definitely run to your stores if you like any of the stuff i'm showing in this video because there's a huge glitch i don't understand how it's happening i really don't but it is so i don't know <laughs> take advantage of the deals i guess while i wait it's worth mentioning all of these end caps those three this one and that one are all filled with toy clearance 30 to 50 percent off is what i see here i can definitely check out those ones too but there's so much back end cap clearance still like just other stuff besides for home decor but like kids toys i've also seen like cups like reusable um like almost yeti type dupe cups that sort of thing so much stuff on the back of these end caps this guy is either seriously searching or having a very deep conversation about what he's about to have for lunch back there <laughs> I hope that he finds one, because that's so cool, but I don't know. Every time the door opens, I think that it's going to be him, but yeah, it'd be really, really cool if he found one, because honestly, it's like a steal. I, I, this is like mind-blowing to me, how this could be happening like at Target with all the stuff ringing up the wrong price. A lot of stuff is ringing up less than what it says, but some stuff is also ringing up more, like literally two of the same item are two different prices. One is like $5 more than it says on the tag, one is $15 less, so... You have to scan everything and not with the Target Circle app. You have to scan it with the price scanner, like I said, so. Whew. Okay, yeah, guys, no luck. He came back finally and he's like, I literally looked everywhere, which I do believe him. Because then I told him about what was going on with all the crazy prices and he was like, no way. And like, was it making me like show him all the Instagram stories? Um, and I don't know, like, I feel so weird about all the prices being so crazy because like, I don't know, like I love Target and like it's not my goal to scam them, but I just am so confused how stuff can be ringing up completely different prices. And in my store, it shows it as $24 from the get go, but it's not on the website, on like the app and everything, it says 79. And other people's stores say 79. So definitely a really weird thing happening, but I don't know, it's my job to report it to you guys. All of this new like terrazzo stuff is so cute. They have a bunch of like candles, all white, gray, more like speckled and then green. And they have like full lines of all of that stuff, which is so cute. These pillows are also so cute. I think that they are maybe meant for like outdoors, but I love them, especially this one. I also love like the rattan or rattan looking one that says welcome, but it's actually really soft. That's really cute as well. All of this stuff, I just love everything. I love this too. It's like a drum coffee table and the lid actually comes off for like storage. It's really pretty. It's not like a really blinding, blaring gold color. So I really, really love that. And they have like a side table that matches. And then this stuff is really, really cool too. It's the new like Studio McGee three piece set. I'm pretty sure it's like 300 and something dollars. I wish it came with a table. That would definitely be like more ideal. But yeah, I just, all of this stuff is so pretty. Like look at all the detail, the colors really pretty and just like how well it goes with like the chairs and the pads and stuff. Totally loving this. Okay, so I'm at home now. This looks different than other outros. Normally I do it in the car, do a haul, that sort of thing. I did 
get some stuff at Target, so I'll go ahead and insert that haul here. Okay, so this is what I decided to pick up. Just wanted to show you really quickly. I got this wreath. It was originally 35, and you guys saw that it was ringing up for $20, I think, 15 or $20, so super good deal. And then I also did decide to pick up the lemon table runner. I just couldn't leave it. It was $8.99. It says on here that it was $16, but originally $22. So I grabbed that because I thought it was really cute. Then I picked up the Studio McGee spring hanging basket. I love this. Brian actually was like, oh, this is great. So it's Brian approved. <laughs> um, but this I got for $20 as well, which is just such a good deal. I love that so much. And then I got the little like cheese knife set for 10, this little sprig from the dollar spot for three, two of these little mini plants for $3, and then the tiered tray. But yeah, so this is everything I picked up at Target. I did have Christmas gift cards, and then I had like $10 in circle rewards, so I got all this stuff for 30 bucks, which is really great. So my time at Target was very interesting. I I can't, I don't even know what I filmed and what I didn't film and what I put on my Instagram story versus like what I filmed on my camera. Um, I think I, I don't know. I don't think I got any footage on my camera, but basically I got to Target around 1.45. I texted Brian and said that I felt like someone was following me around the store. I said, I'm really paranoid. I feel like someone is following me. Um, and I just like feel really anxious about it. And he was like, oh, maybe they're a secret shopper because secret shoppers do that sometimes. And I was like, I just feel like he's always 10 feet behind me and it's just making me really uncomfortable. And I just stared into his soul. Like I literally turned around and stared right at him. Um, and then I didn't see him for like a little bit, but I kept like, I just felt so anxious about it. So then I was in Target for like two or three hours which I do that on a normal basis, but when I'm filming, it does take me a really long time because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, three hours in Target. That's honestly pretty normal for me. But then I was over in the opposite corner. So I was like up in the front corner at the home decor when all that first stuff happened. And then I was in the back corner in the Valentine's Day section when I saw him again. So I decided to approach him because I honestly just felt really uncomfortable and I had a bad feeling about it. So I went up to him and I said, are you a secret shopper? And he was like, what? Like, looked like a ghost on his face. And I said, are you a secret shopper? And he laughed and was like, haha, yeah. Which I didn't believe him for like five seconds. And so I was like, okay, well you need to stop following me around because you're making me really uncomfortable. So I'm at the Target in Millennia. And this guy was like following me around the whole time. So finally I stopped and stared directly into his eyes and he stopped following me. But then I moved to the back of the store and he was back there. And Brian said he might be a secret shopper. So I just went right to him and said, are you a secret shopper? And he was like, what? And I was like, are you a secret shopper? And he said, he laughed and said, yeah. And I said, okay, well stop following me because you're freaking me out. <sighs> like I get that that's your job, but like leave me alone. Now thinking back, like any person who actually was a secret shopper would be like, I'm really sorry I made you uncomfortable. Like it wasn't my intention, like I'll back off or whatever. So I just knew that he probably was lying. So I went up to the front of the store, I was in the dollar spot and I saw like an employee walk by and I asked him if he, there was a secret shopper in the store. And he said, well, normally they're a secret, but we do know like if they're in the store and we don't have any in the store right now. Okay, the plot thickens because I stopped an employee because I just like have a weird feeling. And he said that they don't currently have any secret shoppers in the store today. So he called security and now it's just weird and they're like where'd you last see him which was in the back of the store where i confronted him <laughs> and yeah i don't know it just sucks like to not feel safe in like my favorite place my stomach started to sink and i was like okay well i think that someone is following me around the store and i'm really happy target took it really seriously like all these security guards came out they started watching the footage um, and I talked to them as they walked me to my car and they actually approached him They asked him why he was following me or what he was doing in the store Like he, they could see that he was being sketchy and he said that he had a leg injury and that he uses target Like he came to walk around to rehabilitate his leg And so they asked why he was choosing to do that always walking behind me And he like got really nervous and grabbed a water and checked out and then left. I'm just so frustrated in the store right now so they were like following him around, they found him in the store and he literally like grabbed a water and checked out and just like walked out of the store after he's been following me for like three hours. Like it's just it's so annoying. Um, but someone is gonna walk me to my car when I'm ready to check out because I feel safe in the store but I don't wanna walk to my car by myself. Be aware of your surroundings. I am hyper aware of my surroundings at all times. I'm sure you will see this guy in the back of my video coming out on Tuesday. 
and I'm just so pissed off. So they were really sketched out by him, watched the cameras, watched him leave, told me his make and model of his car so that if he was following me, I could call the police. So at this point, honestly, I was just super upset, but I was trying to like get all the clips I could for the video. So I don't know. It's just like so scary. You just have to be aware of your surroundings. And if you're in a safe place like that, like I feel really safe in Target and in Hobby Lobby and stuff. Like I truly don't think anything would have happened to me in the store. I was more scared for when I left the store, so that's why I had someone escort me to my car. But you have to like make eye contact with them, and if you can, if you're in a safe place, like confront them if you feel uncomfortable, if you feel like someone's following you. The worst thing that's gonna happen is that they're gonna like think that you're crazy, but who cares as long as you're being safe. So I'm really glad that I decided to confront him. After I did, I the way we like exited that confrontation, I came down one aisle and he was like right there and he was texting someone. So then I didn't trust anyone in the whole store and just felt like everyone, like I just couldn't trust anyone. Hi guys, editing Katie here. So when I filmed that clip, I had like just gotten home and it was just like all unfolding and like talking to my family and stuff. And I just wanted to say, that the Target employees were amazing and like super helpful and I could tell they really cared like someone the security guard the head of security was like do you want me to shop around the store with you um, and I honestly felt really safe in the store I was just scared about leaving the store I didn't want to walk to my car by myself so I just wanted to say that the Target employees did amazing and I think the other thing I forgot to leave out was they told me after they watched the security cameras because I said something and then didn't leave the store for probably another 45 minutes to an hour just because I was panicked and didn't know if I got enough shots for my video or what I had even gotten shots of because I was literally dealing with this the entire time I was in the store. So I just wanted to circle back and just say like the thing that freaks me out the most is that me and this person got to the store at the same time and like around the same time and they said that they watched him on the security cameras literally follow me around the entire store the, like almost the whole entire time and when he wasn't like right behind me the aisles he was in he was like looking up and down the aisles like really weirdly and i just don't even remember like what i said but he just like told them that his reasoning for like being in the store and walking around like that was that he had like a leg injury and he was like trying to like rehabilitate his leg which could be true, but I doubt it because he lied straight to my face. So I don't know, after I confronted him, I could see him texting someone and I don't know, it was just like a really freaky situation. It's like not gonna hinder me from making these videos, but it's just like honestly like a warning call for all of you to be really aware of your surroundings and just stick up for yourself and you have to advocate for yourself. Um, if you feel unsafe, like you have to speak up about it. So just wanted to throw that clip in but yeah if you guys have like any questions or anything i can answer them down below but it was just kind of like a situation that all unfolded pretty fast hoping obviously to never find or run into this person again but brian has pretty much said i'll never be filming one of these videos alone ever again so he won't necessarily be in the videos but he'll be close behind me kind of like this stalker was in the store today that's it from editing katie i just wanted to throw that clip in so Love you guys. Honestly, my biggest piece of advice if you're in a situation like that is to confront the person, make sure that they know that you know that you see them. Um, and yeah, I don't know, just like a really scary situation. And I'm just glad that I spoke up about it because I just had this feeling that he wasn't a secret shopper and it turned out that he absolutely was not a secret shopper. And it's just so scary too because like now like everyone wears masks and you can wear a hat and a mask and like, in that sort of situation like it's really hard to like figure out who someone is so it's just scary times always be aware of your surroundings and confront them if you can or make sure you know that their presence like you've seen and noticed their presence and that they know that definitely my two biggest pieces of advice but it's just scary like as a woman alone shopping in a store like that in target home goods any like craft store like you are a target and it's just you got to be aware of your surroundings but that is going to be it for me today i hope that you guys love this video i will be back on thursday i love you guys so much if you haven't yet give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time bye guys